Welcome back, everybody, to the Slime King speedrun story mode series. All right, today we are on to the 15th level of the Echoing Entrance. Wow, what what time was that? 4 473. That seems fast to me for some reason. Um, but maybe it's been a while since I played this level. So. This is actually one of the first levels I made for the game, I think. It's not the first, obviously it's the 15th level in the game, but um, there's there are like three distinct ways of getting through this level. There's like a long sh sh or a long safe way, a medium like somewhat riskier way and then like a fast even risk a faster even riskier way, I guess. Um, if you're a new player, it might not apply if you're like good at this game and know what you're doing. They might all just be easy or um, whatnot. So I'll show you the first. First is the slow, the, the long and safe route is we're just gonna take a pass along the outside here and get all the way to the end. Yeah, we're st we're two seconds behind the record, so. Um, the differences between the, the, if I remember, they're about like a second each between each of the different ways of beating it. But I'm not sure, maybe this middle way just sucks. I feel like it does. Oh, maybe not, maybe. Well, let's make sure we have a good time for this top route. <laughs> I messed up. Still got a record. Well, my, my personal record. Ooh, this is a good run. All right, six seconds flat. Let's see if we can beat that with this middle route, which is the medium, medium length, medium difficulty route, if I remember correctly. And it looks like we are going to be able to get a faster time with this. Yeah, okay, so we're, but we're only dropping by about half a second here. And it is, it is kind of tricky to get this faster time on this level because we have to drop down in this middle. I think, I think this is the crux of this, this level right here where you jump here. You want to land up here, not too high but high enough that you save time coming up through there. So you, you don't want to bonk your head on the, the right side there. And so that's, that's the trick there. And then just do like a really quick like zigzag hop and then get to the end. All right, now let's go to the harder. And like I said, if you're, you've played these Slime King levels, like none of these are gonna seem hard, but uh, to new players, this one's going to feel more daunting, and it might not be as obvious either. Um, but let's explore it and see what we've got going on here. That might actually be slower than the middle way. Ooh, wait a second. Can we, can we do like a sneaky hop? Almost. <laughs> Almost. I don't think that's possible. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just want to see. I need to know. Oh, I got splatted. I need to know. I think the spikes for the echoing entrance come... Yeah, they come all the way out. Some of the spikes on some of the zones don't come all the way out. And you can... Uh, there's like a pixel that you can stand on, basically. Okay, so this is not the fastest route, but there is like a cheaty way to do this route, if I remember correctly, where you come up here. Oh, did it first try. So this is kind of like the last level, but it is, t to me, significantly easier because we don't have to deal with that spike right above where we are jumping from 
and you still have to thread this um, but you know slime king automatically jumps off the walls so we have the right directional movement by default and you just kind of have to give it a little bit of like finesse it's it's really not that hard to get consistent as i go and mess it up um this one's way easier for me than the last one so we'll just run it a few times see how fast of a time we can get Four twenty. All right. I think the trick to this one is just making sure all of our jumps on all of the walls are really fast. Ooh, four fifteen. Like, bam, bam. Just keep, keep moving. That's the that's the key to this level. Like, keep, keep all those movements very fast. And then I think you you want you want to actually yeah so on this one you want to land as high as possible is what I'm thinking that's gonna save us the most time but you don't want to jump on the top <laughs> I don't think yeah even if I get on the top I can't get up in there. I think 415 might be my my uh, my record here. Yeah, it's a tough time to beat. Oh, there we go. We did it. The other thing that's uh, going to be important is keeping this jump really tr tight. Getting to that, you want to get to that lip at the bottom. Now the block, I guess it's not a lip. You want to get to that block as soon as possible so you can get the next jump done. Similar to the last level, but in my opinion, way easier. That's going to be it for this level. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the true Slime King.